Hey, Your Belinda, this is Josh Alexander from Discover Your Belinda, your one-stop shop for all things Your Belinda. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing an interview with Gabriella and Neil from the Your Belinda Arts Alliance Foundation. So we're gonna go over what the foundation is all about, how they get involved in the community, and if you wanna get involved, whether you're an artist or just someone that admires the arts, how you can go about doing that and supporting this foundation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So again, welcome everybody today. I am here with Gabriella and Neil from Your Belinda Art Alliance Foundation. So thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate it. So first, let's just go ahead and start off with a little bit about yourself. So Gabriella, can you tell me just a little bit about yourself? Sure, I've lived in Yorba Linda for over 42 years, and actually I started out, I was born in Italy. I've always, I guess the arts are in my blood, <laughs> and uh, I, I started early in, in high school performing on stage, uh, theater, music, choirs, um, and continued that throughout my, my adult life. Um, so I really, I really still love the arts and I love my community, and it's a perfect fit. Perfect, okay, and then Neil, can you just give us a little bit of a brief description about your history and who you are? <laughs> sure, uh, I'm Neil Kaplan, and uh, I've been a resident of Yorba Linda for about 32 years. Uh, my main background is theater uh, set design, scenic set design, and uh, I joined uh, the Yorba Linda Arts Alliance Foundation probably about five years ago, something like that. Uh, even longer, okay, uh, to support the arts in, in our community here and uh, perfect, enjoying it. Great, so that leads me into my next question. So you, can you tell us a little bit about what the Yorba Linda Art Alliance Foundation is? It's basically all about when it was formed and why it was formed. Well, back in the 90s, uh, I belonged to an organization called the North Orange County Consortium of the Arts. Um, it was founded by Dixie Shaw, who was a big arts supporter in the Placentia Yorba Linda area. And this consortium met quarterly and talked about all the different things that went on in everybody's cities regarding the arts. Um, so it was comprised of nonprofits and city staff, uh, arts councils, and I unofficially represented Yorba Linda. And I kept saying, you know, the arts aren't recognized here as much as I noticed in other cities. And so I was, people gave me some encouragement. So in 1999, I said, let's form a unified group of artists, performers um, that involve theater, dance, it, just anything having to do with the arts. So we got together in November of 1999, had our first meeting at the Yorba Linda Public Library, and right off the bat we started doing events. Uh, our main event was, it's still continuing now, 22 years of the uh, celebration of the arts, which is now co-sponsored by the city. So for all these 22 years, we have been producing events, we've been judging art contests and uh, and now running this art gallery so it's really a fabulous thing great so with the celebration of arts can you tell me a little bit more about that's an annual thing in your blender correct it's an annual thing, uh, like I said, co-sponsored by the City of Yorba Linda Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, we do it at Hurlis Barton Park. We have entertainment, there's food, there's uh, arts activities for children, hands-on things. People get a, a, the opportunity to meet and greet the artists and also purchase some of their wonderful work. And it's a huge variety uh, of all types. Anything you want, you'll probably find it there. Okay, and you guys still have uh, Battle of the Bands there too? I know that was a while ago that I remember having that when I was growing up in Yorba Linda. <laughs> uh, we do have Battle of the Bands. That's, uh, again, that's sponsored by the city. Okay. But, but uh, uh, I'm fortunate enough to uh, uh, be one of the judges there. Okay. I, I do have a musical background. I play, okay. played in a band called Southland. Okay. I like that kind of information. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, this this year, unfortunately, they, they didn't have it occur. Okay. But they're going to be again. They're going to be pushing it for next year. Gotcha. Yeah. The only reason I ask is a little known fact is I used to be in a band and did the Battle of the Bands back. I don't know when it was, but a long time ago when I was in high school, we won it. Shout out to Five Star Kyo back in the day when we were doing that. But that was kind of my first introduction to this whole organization as well. Uh, so yeah. It's, it goes back a long way, and I mean, even here as a normal resident, it's something that I remember, and it was a big part of my childhood. Yeah, there's a lot of great talent there, too. Great. Yeah, so It's a good opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so now that we've gone over a little bit about basically what your whole business, not business, but foundation is about, I wanted to go and do a tour of some of this facility because there's a lot of stuff here. So I want to highlight some of the murals in here, some of the artists in here, and just talk about a little bit more of what this whole place is about. So if your Belinda residents want to stop by and check it out, they know what to expect when they come in here. So let's go ahead and move on to that now. Okay, so Neil, this is the first place on our stop today. So can yes. you tell us a little bit more about this? And I'm going to get out of your way so everybody can see this entire beautiful mural. Sure. All right, what we have here is the Robin Paul Memorial Mural that used to be located in the Yorba Linda Library. And uh, when they were forming the new library, they uh, were going to take, take this down and they weren't going to keep it. So the Yorba Linda Arts Alliance said we would take it and we had to find a place for it. Alan B. Hall is the is the artist and his son Dean Hall, who is part of the uh, uh, coalition uh, to, to preserve the mural. Uh, uh, we're right now we're trying to raise funds to have the mural restored. Uh, so you can go onto our website, find out information how you can contribute to uh, preserve some of the important history uh, of this mural and. Uh, each section depicts a different, a different uh, uh, lifestyle uh, throughout the history of Yorba Linda. Uh, again, you can go on the website, and there's also an um, uh, Allen B. Hall website that you can find out the history uh, in depth as to what the mural represents. And briefly, how we got it over here, we had the uh, coalition, it was all volunteers. Uh, we made a crate for it, rented a truck, and we hand carried it over here, and then we uh, put it up on this wall. And this is its permanent home right now. We're real excited about it. As Neil said, um, this mural was not scheduled to go anywhere. There wasn't really any place in the city for it. And actually, uh, a coalition was formed where the Arts Alliance Foundation is part of the coalition along with the Preservation, uh, the Preservation Foundation and also the Historical Society in Yorba Linda. And along with the artist's son, who is um, Dean Hall, he was the one instrumental, did not want to see his father's work be thrown away in the trash. And so what happened at that point in time, during that time, Caduceus Medical Group used to have buildings up near Chili's in the parking lot next door. And Dr. Di Nicola decided that he was going to take over this packing house and turn it into a huge medical center. And at that time, we were working with Dr. Di Nicola on other projects, art projects and scholarship programs. Caduceus is a wonderful arts partner. They're very, very supportive. Dr. Di Nicola is uh, such a humanitarian and so generous. And so we asked him if there happened to be a wall large enough to accommodate something of this size. It's 10 by 20 feet. And there, the city didn't really have any space, any wall space to accommodate it. And so he graciously said, sure, we can find a spot for that. And this wall absolutely is perfect for it. But to our surprise, along with the mural, he also gave us an entire space for a, an art gallery. So for that, we're forever grateful. Okay, so this is our second stop on the tour. So Gabriella, can you tell me a little bit more about this art gallery that you have set up here? 
Yes, of course. As I mentioned before, Dr. Di Nicola made this space available to us and actually made it available to the community. Okay. It's, it's open to the community, free of charge. You can come in and peruse. Our current exhibit uh, right now features all of the artist uh, members that are members of the Yorba Linda Arts Alliance Foundation. But by uh, bi monthly, we will change this exhibit. So we'll feature individual artists, so private okay. shows. We'll have uh, student art shows. Next month will be the teachers of the Placentia Yorba okay. Linda uh, <laughs> district. Okay. Uh, the art teachers can are welcome to come and show their work. We're getting uh, uh, applications for that right now, and uh, we ha and then there'll be themed uh, events and things oh, too. Okay. Um, after each exhibit, on September 1st, we're going to have a gala event where people okay. can meet and greet the artists, purchase art if they would like. So it's a rotating thing. Um, it's all volunteer, um, so nobody gets paid to curate this, but if you want to be on the committee, mm -hmm. you're welcome to okay. join us and help make some of these decisions. Um, the gallery is open Monday through Friday from uh, 8 to 5. But if you want to come evenings or weekends, it's by appointment, and we can, we'd can we be happy to bring you in and give you a tour, um, or if you have a group of people that want to see it. Perfect. So basically, if you come in here once a month or so, you're going to see art rotated throughout here. So if you're stopping by to go to one of the many new restaurants or places that are opening up in this packing house area now, you can stop by here on your way, check out the new artwork, see what's being exhibited, and be able to tour this whole place. And this is also the same location where you can come, it was 8 to 5, correct, on Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. um, and look at the mural as well. So if you want to check that out, if you haven't seen that before, if you weren't seeing it at the old library when you were there, if you've been a resident for a while in your Belinda, you can come check it out here as well. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and move on to the last and final stop in this beautiful tour that we have of all the art exhibits that we see in this building. Okay, so this is our third and final stop on this tour. So Gabriella, can you tell me a little bit about this newest addition that we see here and kind of how it came about? Sure. We're located in the lobby, the downstairs lobby of the packing house uh, and what is Caduceus Medical, Family Medical. And Dr. Di Nicola uh, wanted this theme to run throughout his creation here. So it's obviously a citrus themed and uh, the mural depicts a lot of that, the history of uh, the Orange County actually with all the citrus groves, the orange groves, yep. and uh, but along with that uh, a lot of treasures that can be found in Yorba Linda past and present. So Dr. Di Nicola had this big uh, wall and uh, wanted some of our artists to come and paint a mural. He mm -hmm. wanted to make it a community thing. So we actually found three wonderful artists. Okay. Um, Kyle Warner, who is our main designer, he's actually the one that you know put this all together. Okay. And then we have Marianne Cosgrove and James Festini. Okay. And they're all very talented artists in their own right, but they uh, came together and we agreed on all the colors and the theme. Um, and then they went to work. It took about a year wow. because they were, they pretty much volunteered for this yeah. and uh, did it on their own time. Okay. And uh, so it's finished now. We're yep. very excited yep. and people... It's beautiful. <laughs> it, it, really, yeah. it really is. It's the first thing you notice when you come into the mm -hmm. packing house. And so again, the public is invited to come okay. anytime, uh, Monday through Friday from eight to, to five. Okay. And they could look at this. And at some point in the near future, w there will be a brochure okay. that will talk about all the different little elements in this mural so they gotcha. can if they don't know about the pink lady yep. <laughs> or they don't know about the veterans memorial um, they'll be able to read about it okay and those brochures will be here or online or both 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 okay yep. perfect okay so now we're gonna have Neil go over some of the different things that you see in this and kind of explain a little bit about it and why they chose to put this on the wall so I'm gonna go over a little bit of some of the important areas within this mural here uh, Many of the uh, subject matter was uh, uh, picked by Dr. Di Nicola. We uh, em embellished those into the mural, and of course we made some additional suggestions in order to pull the whole thing together. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, pretty obvious that this is the Richard Nixon Library, the Yorba Linda Friends Church. This is the original one. Uh, and then this is the Veterans uh, Memorial uh, 
over at uh, over at the park in the city. This is the picture of the original packing house, which was all brick at one time, uh, and the original one actually burnt down. Uh, so it was rebuilt, and now they've stuccoed over it. Uh, going down here, this is uh, where the train station was. This is um, Polly's Pies. So you'll know that. And of course, this is Main Street right here, which we're all familiar with. Uh, the sign up there indicates that. Way at the top is Black Gold uh, Golf Course. And, uh, and then, of course, we've got the, the Equestrian Center here, which is uh, very much a part of the Yorba Linda history. And here's the cemetery where I'm not going to show you where it is, but there's, there's the ghost pink lady in there. You'll have to find it when you come to visit. And also, this is the, uh, the train that came through that went all the way downtown. And again, you're going to have to come here to find out who this person is. We're not, I'm not going to tell you that. And of course, well, then we've got all the orange groves that uh, were part of this area in Orange County. Again, right. we will have a brochure which will explain everything here with the mural and also online. Okay, so speaking of online, um, where can anybody in your Belinda go to find out more about your organization and foundation if they want to donate, if they want to get involved? What's the best way to have you um, them reach out to you? Artsyl.org. Okay. Uh, and you can also, uh, with Google, you can put down Y-L-A-A-F and that'll pull it up also. Okay. So we're real easy to find. And we're always looking for memberships. Okay. Uh, people, you don't have to be an artist, it's people who have a passion who want to support the arts. And again, we support all the arts. That's music, dance, fine arts, uh, digital art, uh, all levels of art. Every th third Thursday of the month, we have a uh, Arts Alliance meeting here at, at Caduceus upstairs on the second floor. Okay. It's open to the public, again, for anybody who's interested in supporting the arts. Perfect way to end it. So I will have all that information down in the description below. So if you do want more information about this foundation, you can check out down there. If you want to get involved, you want to donate, or just want to know more about it. And then I highly encourage you, if you're in your Belinda, if you're in the Packing House area, please come by, check this out. There's so much to see here. You'll be able to find out not only some of these great artists that have painted this, but a lot about the history of your Belinda as well. So until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, and I will see you on the next show. Bye.